Hey there, welcome to our YouTube video on Como in winter, a walking tour of the beautiful city, showcasing things to do and how to dress on this season here in Le Como. Welcome to Tripilare, like and subscribe. Okay, good, let's go. It's a chilly Thursday in February 2024 as we explore Como's winter charm. We see that it's quite a sunny day. There are a few clouds around us, but it is also quite normal because it's winter and we cannot expect always the perfect weather. For that weather we're waiting for spring or summer. Anyway, we can enjoy the beauty of Como even in winter. So it's evening. What time is it? Our 5 p.m. As you can see, we have the city center in front of us. We are along the lakeside where you can see that people are working. There are not a lot of people because it's Wednesday so we are not during a weekend day. During the weekend we can see much more people here along the lake because not only tourists come here to stay in one of the hotels but also people from Milan, from the nearby area used to come here to enjoy uh, the morning or afternoon or to do a day trip here in Como. Hmm? So you can go down, you see here we are at the Passeggiata Sergio Ramelli. The Passeggiata is a place that is usually panoramic along the lake where people can come here and walk. Okay, see here we're on the lake. Huh? Can I show you. In front of us we have a battello, that boat, but that one is parked because the place, the main place where you can get the boat is there. Huh? You see, that is the embarcadero where you can go, take the ticket without any reservation and go on board the boat. And as you can see also that the one battello is coming, you can go around the lake. Maybe you can choose a specific destination and you can reach that destination by boat with that battello. That is a public service. Okay, so the ticket you pay is not too high. Something that most of people can afford. It is not only a good idea the one to take the boat and go to another town. It's not only a good idea in order to explore that town, but it's also a good idea in order to see the lake from the lake. So I love go on board that uh, battello and then go around the lake, very relaxing. Now we go up because we go to see the city center. So let's go. It's winter and dressing appropriately is key. So let's delve into how to stay warm and stylish in Como during winter. It is better to wear a heavy jacket and a scarf during the winter as it helps keep you warm, especially in the early morning and evening. 
In fact, you can see here Gabriel that is dressed with the heavy jacket and the scarf eh? because we are in February. February is not as cold as maybe December or January, but anyway, it is much better if you dress appropriately. Strolling along the enchanting Lungo Lago di Como, as you can see that people are doing, Lungo Lago di Como is a Como Lakeside. It's like stepping into a picturesque dream. As you leisurely walk along the shores of Lake Como, the sparkling waters mirror the majestic mountains that surround it, creating a breathtaking panorama. The gentle breeze whispers through the trees and the vibrant colors of flowers, but this happens especially in the spring season, but we can see a few flowers also now, the red flowers that are there. Add a touch of magic to the scene. Whether you are in search of tranquility, romance, or simply a moment of serenity, passeggiare sul lungo lago di Como, walk along Como Lakeside, promises an unforgettable experience that will leave you captivated by its beauty. And I especially love this part of the Lungo Lago, this part of the passeggiata with this big tree in front of you. And then you can walk <laughs> for a, a long time. Hmm? Because uh, Como has a beautiful passeggiata where you can walk that is uh, something like uh, three kilometers of passeggiata mm? so it's long now I'm going back toward the city center because here very close there is something that you can do here in Como even in winter and uh, it is uh, good to do because uh, you can uh, easily go there on foot because it's something that is in front of Como Lakeside. In fact, you see there is the historical city center. Here we are along the lake and wait a moment. Okay, we are arrived because on this side there is the funicular, the funiculare. The funicular is the delightful feature along the shores of Lake Como. Where does it take you? Well, it transports you up to the charming town of Brunate. Yesterday, yesterday evening we were there, so you can watch the video of that ride from Como to Brunate and I leave the link in the description and in the comments so you can see it. Okay, we were speaking about Brunate, perfect eye above the lake. Why should you go? 
because from there you'll be rewarded with breathtaking panoramic views of the shimmering lake and the surrounding mountains. It's a journey that combines convenience and beauty, making it a must to experience for visitors to Lake Como. So how can you do to go there? Just go to the ticket office that is inside that little wooden house and without reservation you can buy your ticket and go up. Now I want to make you notice these two boats that are two battelli and what I, what I want to show you is the name of these two boats. One is Manzoni, Alessandro Manzoni. So now let's talk about the famous Alessandro Manzoni. Alessandro Manzoni was an Italian writer and poet known for his masterpiece, I Promessi Sposi. The novel is set in the 17th century and it begins with the famous line Quel ramo del lago di Como. So he speaks about Como. That's why they name Alessandro Manzoni for this boat. And another interesting thing is the other boat. The name is Innominato. Maybe you cannot see it well, but the name of the other boat is Innominato. Innominato is another character about the promessi sposi. Staying on the cultural team, I want to tell you that here in Como there is another interesting museum. Now you see there is that building that is like a temple. <laughs> and that museum is about Alessandro Volta. So Alessandro Volta was an Italian physics renowned for his invention of the electric battery known as the voltaic pile. Here in Como there is an interesting museum dedicated to him, showcasing his scientific contributions and artifacts related to his life and work. The museum is located in Villa Olmo, a beautiful lakeside villa that provides a picturesque setting for exploring the legacy of this brilliant scientist. For those looking for a dining experience with a view, Como offers a range of restaurants here along the lake and these restaurants overlook the lake. And here there is something else that I want to show you. I love this view. We are after the sunset. in the winter time the sun set early so so at 5 p.m the sun is already down so that's why it is much better that when you come here in winter it is better if you come maybe in the morning if you want to enjoy a sunny day on the lake another boat that is called Battello is leaving Como to another wonderful destination on the lake.
Let's stop and wait. Let's stop and wait. It passes in front of us. And here there is something else that I want to show you. In fact, don't forget to capture the panoramic beauty of the city at the end of the pier. And this is a popular spot for photos. So let me show you. In fact, do you see the beauty of this panorama? People love working on this pier. For pictures, but at the end of this molo, okay, there are also benches where you can sit, relax. So we have a piccione. In Italian we call it piccione. And so we can sit and enjoy the view. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay, we can uh, go back. Because hmm? you see, if we go back, we go back to the passeggiata, hmm? where you can walk along the lake. Because then on this side, we have the city center where there is uh, the church, the main church, where there is the main square. Instead, <laughs> on this side, there is uh, a beautiful long walk where you can walk along the lake. And then, over there, there is also the funicular, la funicolare, where you can go up there. Eh? And from there, you can see, have a beautiful view of Lake Como. Hmm? And then, on the other side, there is also a nice museum you can visit. So, also in winter, there are things that you can do here. We are in front of the beautiful Como by night. Now, 5 p.m. It's not really a time for the dinner huh? because the dinner time starts at about 7 p.m. here in Italy. 7.38 it is even better. 5 p.m. it is the time for the aperitif and it's evening. Huh? So now we can see the city center with the light. But now what are you doing? Are you we are choosing aperitif. aperitif? What is aperitif? Aperitif is aperitivo, hmm? drink and yes. food before the dinner. So Gabriel, so in winter, what, what is the something that you can do at this time? So you can also have this aperitivo. Hmm? Aperitivo, walking around the lake. Mm -hmm. Enjoying the, this beautiful scenario huh? around the house. Okay. Something like that. What do you prefer, aperitivo or walking along the lakeside? Both things. Uh, I think that you love aperitivo. Mm -hmm. Just wait for it. Exactly. Here we are on the lake side in front of the historical center of Como. And we are in the Imbarcadero area. Hmm? 
We are getting close to the city center, so we can see that there are a lot of hotels. There is the Palace Hotel, Four Stars Hotel. In front of us there is the Metropole Suisse, another Four Star Hotel. Here we have the Palace Hotel with its beautiful garden. There is another smaller hotel that is the Albergo. Albergo means hotel terminus. And on that side we have also the Marcos Hotel. Gabriel, are you ready for breakfast? Yes. Well, everything is ready here. On our table, we have brioche, eggs, honey, Nutella, cakes, yogurt. So, a lot of things. Smile. Enjoy. Enjoy. And these are all hotels that are with the lake view. As you see here, there are more people because the people, these people were on the boat and just got off <laughs> that battello. You see in this area there are benches where you can sit, relax, and get the view. Despite we are in the low season and we are doing the week and not in a weekend day like Saturday or Sunday because today is Thursday. So many people work and all those that are in the nearby cities are busy and they cannot come here to relax in the lake. But despite that, you can see that the, all the benches are full are with someone. Okay, here we are arrived at the Imbarcadero. Why we are speaking about the Imbarcadero? Because I don't want that you forget the stunning locations accessible by boat from Como. For example, on that boat it was written Varenna. Hop aboard and explore the breathtaking sights. Only a boat ride away. You don't need a reservation to take the boat in Como. Just go to the pier here where there is the Imbarcadero. 
and buy a ticket for your destination. In front of us there is also that uh, statue and uh, from the lake side, from the passeggiata, you can go follow that passeggiata and arrive to the end and that is a very beautiful place because you are in the middle of the lake with uh, Como in front of you. Inside in the square, there are shops, bars. Benches, we can see. You see, people are taking their aperitif, aperitivo. But also, there it was written happy hour, aperitivo, but aperitivo with your drink, your salumi, salame, prosciutto. Mm very delicious winter in Como offers a variety of activities to indulge in from visiting the iconic Piazza Duomo to revealing the intrinsic history behind the magnificent Duomo itself there is something for everyone so Piazza Duomo is in front of us. Just walk along this street that is Via Caio Plinio Secondo. And we'll arrive to Piazza Duomo. Piazza Duomo is interesting for its history but it's also a place where you can meet your friends and enjoy the time with them in fact as you see there are also bars in front of the Duomo Church so you can come here and there are not only bars but also restaurants so you can have your lunch with this historic view I like this atmosphere with this fire on one side there is 
the place where you can meet your friend and enjoy speaking with them and uh, yeah, there are shops shopping is always a good option and on this side we have the Duomo under the port there are also district zones that explains you something more about this area. In fact, it is very interesting that this is the sinking city because you are standing on, on the original floor of the old Broletto porch or portico. I can show you. Can you see here? which was on the same surface level as the city itself until the 14th century. The basis of the columns that donate the perimeter of the Broletto, which was built in 1215 AD, so a long time ago, also rests at the same level. However, in the times of the Roman Empire, that is a thousand, a thousand years before the construction of the Broletto, ground level was much lower, approximately three meters lower in fact. Como, which is located in a marshy dale composed of low river debris, is prone to subsidence. Slowly but surely, the city is sinking. And here you can continue your reading. So if you want, you can also stop the video and read all this interesting history. You can see a very characteristic street at the city center where there are a lot of shops. This street is Via Vittorio Emanuele II. So it is nice uh, to walk, especially at this time. After a day that you maybe you stayed on the lake instead at this time it's also nice to explore the inside and explore the city center and the, in the, the pedestrian area
will be a lefty store where you, there are all these Italian uh, moche, mocha, that is the coffee machine for your perfect espresso, homemade. For men, glasses, a colorful shop shoes bar so don't miss out on the opportunity for some retail Therapy. The city center is brimming with shops where you can find unique treasures to take home. That's why in a couple of minutes I'll be very busy. Please, Gabriel, be patient and wait. Don't come home without me. In the meantime, there is something else you can do here in Como. Visit the archaeological site of the Roman Bath. Thank you. Thanks also to you for watching. See you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Bye.